Clothes for Joes is a local nonprofit with a huge heart to help those who have served our country. It provides veterans with much needed items while allowing them to maintain their dignity and self-respect. This organization is small in numbers and quite honestly, it could use some help with volunteers and financial support. It's why we shine the Positively Fort Wayne spotlight on Clothes for Joes and the important work it does. The pride of having served in the military and then needing to go ask someone for help uh, is a huge challenge. Andrew Messmer is no stranger when it comes to facing challenges. So personally, I'm a veteran myself. I was in the Army for 15 years, uh, medically retired. Having gone through uh, my own struggles in life, my own personal experiences, uh, as well as my successes, I'm at a point where I can help make a difference for other veterans, other folks just like myself. Which is what Clothes for Joes is all about. They are an amazing, small group of people. They don't talk the talk, they walk the walk. It's not just a, a transactional relationship. It's not like, here's a pair of pants, have a nice day. Is we want to really, really try to make a difference for people's lives. And we don't care how long you were in the military. If you're a veteran, you're gonna come in here and we're gonna help you somehow. And if we can't, we're gonna find a way to help you. Yeah, look at these. So our niche is in, in clothing. Yes. So essential things, hats, boots, gloves, jeans, socks, underwear, is a huge one. Thank you. And then those personal hygiene items like body wash, uh, shampoo, razors, shaving cream, foot powder, those things. I do this to honor not just the veterans, but also my brother. He was Marine through and through. So when he passed, I was kind of lost and I wanted to do something that I knew he would have done. And this is it. He would have given everything to this place if he was still here. So I do that for him. And we all go to our closets and you look at the $40 hoodies, the $20 this, that you haven't even wore yet. I guarantee you, look yourself in the eyes and tell me you don't have a piece of clothing in your closet you bought that you didn't even wear. If you're donating to these guys, it's here. It's in our town. As a business owner, I'm begging business owners to step up, help these guys. We need lots of help. We need volunteers. Oh, please, volunteer. Think about it. You know, seeing people that come in that some have nothing, you know, to be able to put on clean clothes, just clean socks or clean underwear. Uh, you know, I, I try to keep my composure while I'm here working with them, but uh, there's days where I gotta walk away, uh, get a little weepy eye, so to speak. You know, we care about those people. Uh, they're veterans and quality members of our community just need a little bit of help, so uh, really try to make that difference. And they really do make a difference. Mm -hmm. And uh, just being with those guys and gals for just uh, a couple hours uh, on Wednesday, mm -hmm. they do their sorting of the clothes at their location, 2202 South Calhoun Street. Mm -hmm. And then they're open to veterans uh, Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. Uh, so they really could use volunteers helping sorting, doing various things, and then also on that Saturday. And then you can't beat financial support. Yeah. Uh, one of the business owners we saw there, uh, Mike Ackles, Big Mike, as they call <laughs> <Big> him, <Mike. laughs> uh, 469 Cycle Shop. He's raffled off a motorcycle the last couple of years, okay. donated like 6,000 pairs of socks wow. recently. So uh, imploring other business owners, mm -hmm. and if you're able to help, it really is a wonderful organization not too many people know about. Yeah, well, you can hear the, the passion and the pleas in their voice because they are doing amazing work. And it's so good to highlight this because we hear about it a lot around Veterans Day and around Memorial Day, but these folks that gave so much for our country, you know, this needs to be shouted all year long. They need help, and this is a great way to right. help them out. I mean, to hear Kelly talk about her brother and what yeah. it means and how she heals kind of through that because that's what her brother would do, right. a, a Marine through and through. So, yeah. And by the way, Andrew, uh, he's in Okinawa, Japan. Hello to Andrew. <laughs> I just met him for the first time on Wednesday. He works for another nonprofit for his day job. Mm -hmm. No one there takes a salary, by the way. Yeah. Everything is 100% volunteer. Wow. But InVets is another veterans organization. So he's in Okinawa, Japan wow. right Fantastic. now. First time I think anyone in Okinawa has watched are positive yeah. before we, at <laughs> least that I know are. of. <laughs> <laughs> well, what a great group of people. Yes. And so wonderful to highlight that. Great job, Pat. To find out more about Clothes for Joes and see all of our Positively Fort Wayne stories, just head to wayne.com, hit the news tab, and look for Positively Fort Wayne.